What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today. I am going to show you how to add a list of the controls for your game in the bottom on the screen. It's going to be a very easy to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so right now if I press play, right, we don't get the controls on any part of the screen, which might be useful for some type of games, more like small games and things like that, right? So let's go ahead and quickly create some widgets for this. So on the content browser, just right click and create a new folder. This is going to be called widget and open this up. So we could create just a single widget, create multiple texts, stack them together, and that's it. And that will work perfectly fine. But I'm here, we do things at the next level. So what we're going to be doing is build modular widgets. So we're going to be having a specific widget for the type of control and then another widget to stack them together, if that makes sense. So let's right click. Scroll down to user interface and create a new widget blueprint, user widget, and this will be WD underscore control, which will be the specific control, okay? So on here, we would go ahead and customize this as we wanted. In this case, it's gonna be fairly simple, okay? I'm gonna just get a canvas panel and drag it. I'm gonna be getting an image and drag it. And I want to, you know, make the image cover the whole thing. I'm going to go to end curse, hold left control on your keyboard and click the full screen button. And then apart from that, I wanted to do you just add a text on their canvas panel over here. And I want to go ahead and just make this image a bit darker so we can see the text behind it. On top of that, I'm also going to reduce a bit the opacity, maybe like 0.7 or even 0.5, something like this. So now if I go up here into fill screen and I put this to be on the side, as you can see, everything fits the screen, which is a bit better. So now what I can do is just make the font a bit smaller so it also fits in. I'm going to go ahead and align it to the right because I'm going to have it on the bottom right of the screen. It's going to look a bit better. And then I'm going to change the font to be uh, light so it looks a bit better. And then we can have the text itself. So I'll be the specific control, which we'll fill in in a second. But with that, we have the control, which is pretty cool. So now it's time to create the widget itself for the controls. So just right click, go to user interface. That will be user widget. That will be underscore and then controls. In plural, okay? Now, in controls, I'm going to be adding a canvas panel so we can start to add things into the screen. But the difference is that now what we can do is search for control and add our pre-made widget, which is really cool as you can see. But before we do this, let's go ahead and add a vertical box. Okay, a vertical box is a component that will allow us to stack all our components like widgets on top of each other. So let me put this on the bottom right maybe over here kind of like this of course maybe you don't have so many controls is finding the correct size and my kids are gonna make it a bit bigger for the tutorial but yeah something like this will work just fine and now yes i can just go to control drag it inside and as you can see it stacks over here so now i can just duplicate this and it creates another control which is really cool now we could also add some padding so for example on the top for the second one i could put five of padding and there's a bit of a separation maybe three is a bit better and we can just duplicate them and yeah we'll have all of the controls over here i would re resize this and just put this over here maybe and yeah we start to get them over here so it's really really cool now one thing that would be cool to do is actually change the text itself right because otherwise we will not be able to change the text now as you can see we don't have any field to update the text we only have this available in the control widget itself. But of course, if we change it over here, it will change for all of them. And we only want to change the specific ones that we like. So we just need to add a bit of logic over here. So on the text, make sure that you have the control text, something like that. Click on is a variable. And now from the graph, because it's a variable, we can actually do things with it. In this case, what we're going to be doing is go to the pre-construct and on the pre-construct which runs also when we are not playing the game we're gonna just get it 
and then simply do a set text. Now, what's this text gonna be? Well, we're gonna create a new variable and expose it. So if I right click, I can create a new variable and this will be the control text uh, itself, right? You can put this over here. And then very important, we just need to click the eye icon. This will expose and make it public. So now in the main widget of controls, if I click on it, I have a variable. As you can see, I can start to type and it updates. So I can put in here, for example, E interact. I could go into the next one and put space jump. And we need to also align it in a second. We can put in here um, WASD move. We can put a left mouse attack and whatever it is, right? You get it. It's basically just filling in all this stuff. But the alignment, as you can see, is not working exactly how we want. So let's go back over here. And you can see that we have the text. Just click on here and make it full screen, okay? Now you will see that it will actually mess everything up. So let's not do that. <laughs> My bad. Let's go and just put the anchors on the right side of the thing. And now, as you can see, we have them on the right, which is what we want. Now, that's a bit too close to the right. So what we can do additionally is just um, add the... Uh, where is it? The the position, the alignment. Uh, we can just put a number. If you put one, it will be too much. So maybe like 0.2. And we're just moving it a bit to our left, as you can see. Maybe 0.2 is a bit too much. 8.1 is a bit better. Yeah. So now there's a bit of a better spacing, right? And now we just need to add this controls widget into the screen. So I'm going to go real quick into the third person cat blueprint. Of course, you can also do this from the game mode or whatever you want. And on the receive control to change, which is essentially the begin play of the player, we can just go ahead and create widget. It will be controls. Remember, it has to be the plural one, which is the one that has the vertical box. And then we just need to say add to viewport. And now if we do this, when I press play, we have the list of controls at the bottom right of the screen. Now, as you can see, maybe it's a bit too small. So this is the thing where you could go to customize everything. So you could open up both widgets. You could go to here and change this to be maybe uh, 35. So it's bigger. And then you could go to the vertical box and expand it and then all that stuff. But you know, you get me. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it how it was. So it's a bit faster. Also, I, I pressed Ctrl Z too much, too many times. <laughs> Let me just put this back to here. And yeah, just uh, overall, you know, customize the look of your controls. But there we go. We have it. And okay, I actually delete this also. <laughs> I did too many Ctrl Z. Let me just add this again real quick. But yeah, just make sure that you have uh, the controls on the widget. Otherwise, you will not have the list. But that's it. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Check out my Unreal Club if you want to download the private files for this tutorial and 800 more from all of my tutorials. Now, yes, with all I said, bye-bye.